For decades, the math of air defense was simple, brutal, and strategically bankrupt. You needed a $2 million missile, like the U.S. Navy's SM-2, to intercept a $100,000 drone. It was an economic war of attrition the West was always losing. But what if you could take out a high-end, $20 million precision missile for the price of running a common household appliance for an hour? What if you could destroy a threat for less than $15? The UK's Dragonfire laser weapon is that reality. It has fundamentally broken the cost exchange ratio. We're talking about hitting a one pound coin from a kilometer away and doing it thousands of times without a single reload. This isn't just a technological leap, it's an economic weapon. What happens to the defense industry, to China's swarm strategy, and to the future of warfare when the only thing cheaper than the laser shot is walking away from the fight? That's what you need to know. October 2023, the Red Sea erupts into a battlefield. Iranian-backed Houthi rebels launch wave after wave of cheap drones and missiles at commercial shipping. The West responds with what it has, billion-dollar destroyers firing million-dollar interceptors. HMS Diamond alone fires Sea Viper missiles worth over $1.3 million each. The USS Kearney burns through its entire missile magazine, over $100 million in munitions, in just weeks. The Houthis spent pocket change. NATO spent more than the GDP of a small nation. This is the new reality of 21st century warfare. Cheap, expendable drones versus expensive, irreplaceable missiles. But deep in the Scottish Hebrides, the Royal Navy was testing something that would rewrite the entire equation. They called it Dragonfire. Here's the nightmare scenario every admiral loses sleep over. A carrier strike group, worth $20 billion, faces a swarm attack, not from sophisticated cruise missiles, from cheap mass-produced drones, hundreds of them. Your Aegis system can track them, your SM-2 missiles can kill them, but you only have 90 missiles in your magazine. They have 200 drones, you lose, not because your technology failed, because the math failed. China is mass-producing drones by the thousands. A Chinese factory can build 50 kamikaze drones for what the U.S. Navy pays for a single SM-6 missile. 50 to 1. The West needed something that didn't play by the old rules, something that traveled at the speed of light and never ran out of ammunition. Laser weapons have been five years away for 50 years. The problem? Earth's atmosphere. Air bends and distorts the beam. It's called thermal blooming. Your own laser heats the air it's traveling through, creating a lens that scatters the beam. For decades, this killed every laser weapon program. Then the UK consortium, MBDA, Leonardo, Cinetti Q, solved it. The answer was called coherent beam combining. Instead of one impossibly powerful laser, you use multiple smaller fiber lasers and phase lock them together. Like a phased array radar, multiple emitters working in perfect synchronization. But here's the genius, adaptive optics. Dragonfire measures atmospheric distortion in real time, thousands of times per second, and adjusts the phase of each individual laser to compensate. The air tries to scatter the beam. Dragonfire corrects faster than the air can react. 50 kilowatts of focused energy, traveling at 299,792 kilometers per second. A missile takes time to accelerate, follows a predictable arc, gives the enemy seconds to react. A laser is instant. By the time the target sensors detect the beam, the fight is already over. November 2024, MOD Hebrides Range, Scotland. Dragonfire engages a drone traveling at 650 km per hour, twice the top speed of a Formula One car. The drone doesn't even attempt evasive maneuvers. Light doesn't give you that option. Over 300 test shots, 30 drones destroyed, heavy rain, adverse weather, cost per shot, 10 pounds, about 13 US dollars. That's less than a lunch, less than the fuel a fighter jet burns idling on the tarmac. And that's when the defense world realized the game had fundamentally changed. January 2025, the UK does something unprecedented. They announce Dragonfire will enter operational service in 2027, five years ahead of the original 2032 timeline. Five years. Fighter jets take 20 years, from concept to service. New missiles take a decade. But Dragonfire broke the cycle, because the threat didn't wait. 316 million pound contract to MBDA UK. Four Royal Navy Type 45 destroyers, starting with HMS Diamond, the same ship that spent millions defending the Red Sea with conventional missiles. By 2027, she'll have a weapon that costs nothing to shoot, and NATO noticed. Dragonfire is the first high-power directed energy weapon entering service from any European nation. Britain, 
Run the simulation again, Carrier Strike Group. 200 drone swarm attack. But this time, every escort destroyer has dragon fire. Drone 1, destroyed. Cost, $13. Drone 50, destroyed. Cost, $650. Drone 200, destroyed. Total cost, $2,600. The magazine never empties. The lasers keep firing. You win, because you changed what winning costs. Now think about what this does to strategic planning. China's entire swarm doctrine, thousands of cheap drones overwhelming expensive defenses, collapses overnight. Beijing has invested billions in mass-producible kamikaze drones designed to force the U.S. Navy to burn through its entire missile inventory in the first hours of a conflict. What happens when those strategies just stop working? This is a strategic earthquake. Suddenly, America and its allies aren't fighting an economic war they can't win. Suddenly, the defensive advantage is back. The U.S. Navy is watching. They're testing their own directed energy weapons, Helios, Odin. But Dragonfire proved it can be done now. Japan, Australia, South Korea, every Pacific ally facing Chinese naval expansion, they're all asking, how fast can we get this? The defense industry is scrambling, because if lasers replace missiles, then every company that built its empire on billion-dollar missile contracts is in trouble. You can't charge $2 million for a weapon that costs $13 to fire. This is creative destruction, the moment when the old guard realizes the future doesn't need them anymore. And it all started on a rainy, windswept range in the Scottish Hebrides, with a British laser hitting a coin from a kilometer away. For less than the cost of a cup of coffee, wars aren't won by the side with the best weapons. They're won by the side that can afford to keep fighting. Vietnam taught America that lesson, Afghanistan taught it again, and the drone wars were teaching it one more time, until dragon fire. For the first time in a generation, the West has a weapon that makes economic sense in an era of mass-produced threats. For the first time, defensive warfare costs less than offensive warfare. 2027 is just the beginning. Four Type 45 destroyers, then the rest of the Royal Navy, then Allied fleets, then the U.S. Navy. Within 10 years, every major warship will have directed energy weapons, not because it's science fiction, because it's economically inevitable. The one-pound weapon that's making $20 million missiles obsolete isn't just British engineering. It's a reminder that the nation that ruled the seas for three centuries hasn't forgotten how to innovate when survival demands it. Because in the end, the future of warfare isn't decided by who spends the most. It's decided by who spends the smartest. And right now, that's a laser beam traveling at the speed of light for the cost of running your heater.